Hello, this is Stuart Fleming, and we're going over some more JDeveloper uh, applications and how to do stuff in JDeveloper. Today, we're going to be looking at how to get a default value using Java classes uh, to determine what the uh, next field value should be. I have um, over on my left here, I have an app module, departments EO, employee EO, and you can see that I have the Java classes there. We have uh, associations between the two. I'll, I'll double click this and you can see that the relation, the general the relationship is here. The accessor name is departments. The accessor name is employees. That's important later. We have department VO and we have employee VO. On the employee VO, um, I have uh, a list box on the department and it's just uh, for ease of use, okay? I'm going to bring up the uh, application module tester, uh, model tester, I should say. And now we have um, purchasing. And these, well, let's go over our departments first. We have the departments, and um, we'll go to the very, very first one is 10 is administration, and the manager is number 200. Uh, this manager is 201, 1114. Human resources has nobody, shipping, IT, public relations. Um, but you'll see later that there are quite a few that do not have any. So, uh, for example, IT knock has none. IT support has none. Uh, sounds like this company is severely um, understaffed, and uh, they do need to hire some people. So hopefully that will happen soon. Okay, so if we go over and we click on administration, you'll remember that 200 was the manager. Um, if we go to marketing, 201 was the marketing for that and purchasing 1114. So you can see that it's automatically looking up the data. And, and why shouldn't it? Why should uh, somebody else have to look it up in a list box to see what the manager is? It's in the department's table to find. We could also do the same for the location, although there is no location field on the employee's table. Well, how do we do this? Let's minimize that and take a look. First of all, what you need to do is make sure that the association is there perhaps, because what we want to do is we'll go into the uh, employee in EO. So let's go over to that one. And I should have concentrated on that one. My apologies. So here you have um, a piece of code that I have copied in. And this is uh, impor important. So um, we're going to alter the set department ID. Now what that does is, is um, it's going to go out it's going to get departments. Now, get departments is referring to, and we'll go to our declaration, this particular piece of code. And what it's doing is it's going out and getting the um, departments uh, <coughs> view, ex, uh, I'm sorry, association. It's going over here and it's grabbing this piece of data here. And that's how we're able to look at what the association or I'm sorry, what the department name is, because it goes up, goes up to the parent, looks at the accessor name, says, hey, I want the department's uh, and name, and then we're able to grab it. Okay, so let's go back to the employee EO, and we'll go back to our code, which I placed near the top. Okay, so it um, changes it to, into, it casts it to, into an um, object, a department EO impl, and then all you have to do is say d get manager id, which is an integer. And we have that just for debugging. And then we use the set manager, which is um, another declaration in the object uh, em employee EO impl file, which is right there. So it's a very simple piece of code, uh, but it helps a lot. And it's one of the things that will help make um, your classes more or your applications more user friendly. Okay, let's summarize. We need to have um, the department EO, you need to create uh, the um, class for it, and you need to have the accessors created in that class. You also do need to do the same for the employee EO. You also need to have the employee DEP FK association, which um, then we'll show the relationship and, most importantly, the name of the accessors that you're going to be accessing from the code. You go into the employee EO and you place this code, set department ID. Actually, this is already in there. 
but you just alter it by adding this data down here. Okay, and the entity name is EO, accessor name is departments, and it tells it, I like to put this stuff in, it helps me to find out where it is later. And get departments is the method in this class, EO impo class. Department impo, department EO impo, D equals impo, um, and this is a cast, so you get the department's uh, EO, and then you can get the manager from that value. And in fact, you can probably get any value that's listed in the department's EO impo uh, method. And then you set it. So I hope that helps. Um, have a great day.